to be investigation now. All new at six. You're hearing and watching just how quickly a catalytic converter can be sawed off and stolen from your car. This is the best video you'll probably ever see of it happening in action because it happened right in front of an audio video store with a security camera right there in plain view. These thefts are brazen, mm -hmm. frequent, and expensive for car owners, costing anywhere from one to $3,000 to get it fixed. But WBTV wanted to know what's being done to stop this trend and protect you. Investigative reporter David Hodges started digging for answers, asking if police, lawmakers, and car manufacturers are doing enough to combat converter theft. David, what'd you find? Well, there is a lot of attention on this issue from Charlotte to Raleigh to DC and nationwide, but everyone's seeking a solution is fighting against market forces that make it difficult to deter criminals. We actually found some data to show you about just how bad it is. Catalytic converters contain precious metals that have skyrocketed in value since 2019, and the theft trends have mirrored those charts. CMPD says criminals can make up to $600 to even $800 for a single catalytic converter, and they've increased nationally 1,215% those thefts. It's easy money for criminals that only takes a few minutes of work. You feel pretty violated. It's quite disturbing to see someone pull up to your vehicle in broad daylight and, and steal something that you own. Nathan Ziegler is the owner of KS Audio Video in Cornelius. Despite having a store full of expensive electronics, these three thieves were only interested in the jackpot underneath his company work truck, a catalytic converter. And we have you know, more vehicles that they can potentially just pull up and, and take those precious metals. It's not just how much money this crew can make from selling the stolen converter, it's how quickly they can flee the scene. We timed our whole operation from the second they got out that jack to get the car up. In less than 15 seconds, he's underneath the truck. Another three minutes passes with occasional sawing, switching out of tools, and then converter comes out from underneath the truck. But that's not all. Because this truck actually has two catalytic converters, and the second one goes out right there. In less than four minutes, the van is pulling away, and the crew has stolen two catalytic converters. Cornelius police tell WBTV they are working on officially charging a possible suspect for this case, but no charges have been filed yet. According to the National Insurance Crime Bureau, North Carolina ranks in the top five states for catalytic converter thefts in 2020. Law enforcement has taken notice. This individual made over $170,000 in one year profiting off the sale of Cali converters. Captain Michael Anderson with the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department was part of Operation Sawzall, an investigation targeting catalytic converter theft. We were able to obtain somewhere around eight stolen converters. Operation Sawzall resulted in 17 arrests. CMPD reports there were nearly 1,200 converter thefts in 2022, down 20% from 2021. That is a lot of arrest. Um, it really helped out just not only at targeting street level cutters, but also it targeted the buyers as well as targeting the metal recycling locations. Is this something you can arrest your way out of or does more need to be done outside of law enforcement? Uh, there needs to be more outside of law enforcement. If auto manufacturers would put a VIN number on the kind of converters, that gives us the ability to be able to, one, track down a victim, but also to be able to make sure we put the appropriate charges on the suspect. Or even considering um, putting cages on all the different vehicles so to, to, to minimize it because we are told that there's a good chance they'll come back. Does it feel ridiculous that that might be your only solution? It does. Again, I think it comes back to the manufacturer putting precious metals underneath their vehicle and making it easy for them to take. Yeah, and take a look at this list that Carfax actually mm -hmm. put out there about the cars that are most likely to get the converters stolen, showing that they've been targeted by thieves nationwide for the converters. Ziegler wants to know why the companies that build these cars aren't making the converters harder to steal. That's what we set out to answer at 7 on, on, on your side tonight. We actually went all the way to Washington, D.C. and talking with Congress members there about what they're doing. Also reached out to the lobbyist group for these car manufacturers and found some interesting information along the way. So we'll make sure to break that all down and give some tips yeah. about what you can do to protect your car. Looking forward to that tonight at 7 o'clock during On Your Side tonight. David. David, thank you. Cheers.